She's so shy. I am so shy. And the reason that I'm so shy is all of you have probably interacted with my job at some point. I am a Boston Public School secretary. Okay. All right. Now the definition, the Webster definition of a secretary is someone who files, writes, and types. Well, I'll just give you them. Tuesday, December 8th, election day, of course, voting at school is always a great thing. And the parents go, let's have a bake sale. Great. So I get in nice and early and the tables are all set up at the bake sale. No parents. So Sue goes over and she sees a box of pastries and they're on the thing and they're waiting to be sold and all these voters are coming in. So I immediately jump behind the table and start packaging up all the pastries and going, hi, you want to sell some pastries to me? I'll buy some pastries, you know, come on, support the school, everything. As I'm thinking, I have a pile of things on my desk downstairs that I really should be doing because I am the secretary. So two hours later, the parents do show up with their coffees in their hands and they take my place and I go down and I see a pile of papers on my desk and and with a little note attached to it from the principal, please type by noon. And I go to pick up one of the papers, and of course I have jelly still on my arm, and a paper now attached. So I peel off the paper and go into the nurse's bathroom and wash up, and on my way out of the bathroom, in comes a little student going, I feel like I'm going to and of course all over the floor, right in front of me, and of course I went for the barrel, but not a drop in the barrel. And that's how it always is. And I clean up the child and take their temperature and call their doctor, AKA mom, and say, come get your child, please. And I go to look for paper towels. And now I'm the custodian cleaning up the school floor. And as I'm cleaning up the school floor, my phone rings. And I have a parent on the phone telling me, my child's not coming into school today because they, they haven't gone to the bathroom in two days. And, and I, of course, getting way too much information. Um, I'm sure your parents all did this to you at once and telling the secretary all about how their child can't go. And I reassure them that your child will poop again. Don't worry. <laughs> and as I hang up the phone, it rings again. And I have another parent on the phone telling me, my child won't get out of bed and come to school. Would you please talk to him? <laughs> okay, so they put the, this, these are all true, these are true stories, folks. Um, I talked to the child on the phone and I said, look, if you don't get out of bed now, I'm going to get in my car and come to your house, pajamas and all, and you will come to school in those pajamas. And I hang up the phone that seems to work. And of course, as I'm just beginning to look at the papers that I need to type, I'll come down with those parents with their money box going, can you count this for us, Miss Lennon? <laughs> I'm like, okay, sure, so now I'm an accountant. Okay, so I'm starting to count all the money, and just as I'm counting the money, in comes the second grade teacher with this unruly child, and the teacher screaming at the top of the lungs, I can't take this kid anymore, and deposits him in my office. And I run to the door because the child's already two feet ahead of me, and I block the door, and we play a game of let's not let Miss Leonard get kicked. You know, <laughs> so back and forth, the kid's trying to get through the door. I said, okay, great, you know, and the kid throws himself at me and I grab him and put one of those lovely hugs to restraining hug and sit him down at my desk and we start to talk about what his problem was and usually the secretary always has some goodies inside her desk and we sit and we talk and things seem better and then all of a sudden the school bell rings and off the child goes, get his bus to go home and I'm like, yeah, day over and I go and I grab my coat and I grab my keys and I stop and I look at my desk and there's the pile of papers that I was supposed to type. And I said, okay, so I take my coat off and I sit down and start to figure out how I'm gonna get this all typed before the principal comes walking in. Of course, he's forgotten all about me anyway. And in comes the custodian and said, and saying, five minutes building closing. And I'm like, great. So I take the papers and I stuff them in my bag and go home. And the next day I arrive at school nice and early and I put them in my principal's box. And guess what? He didn't even notice they were missing. And that's a day in the life of a school secretary. So wait, 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 wait. So the next time you run into a school secretary, and I know I'm sure that all of you at some point will again, be nice and don't ever ask them how their day was. <laughs>